station's most advanced fleet of weather satellites about to get an update. Later today, in fact, the fourth and final installation of NOAA's GOES R series will launch from Kennedy Space Station. The new satellite, called GOES U, mm -hmm. will join the fleet that is already there, helping to keep us safe here on the ground and in space. Joining us live from Cape Canaveral now is Dr. El Sayed Talet, uh, NOAA Director in Space Weather Observations, uh, and, and Goes You is expected to launch in just a few hours. Doctor, good morning and thanks for joining us. Good morning. I'm very excited here in Florida for the launch of the Goes You satellite. As you said, the fourth satellite in the Goes R series, and that's going to be a real game changer for our capabilities here at NOAA. Tell us about the mission and why it is so important. Uh, GOES-U is the most advanced system providing uh, weather and atmospheric measurements 24-7 uh, over the Western Hemisphere. It, goes to, it covers the, the total system with GOES-East and GOES-West, covers from, the, from Asia uh, all the way to uh, the coast of Africa. And it provides real-time uh, observations for decision-making, uh, for flash flooding, uh, weather, and uh, fog, dust, smoke and it also monitors the sun uh, for solar activity and monitors space weather near earth uh, so that we can uh, help mitigate against the effects of space weather. Sure, Doctor, you mentioned flooding. Obviously right now we are very concerned about the flooding happening here in Minnesota and the upper Midwest. How would something like this help? Would it help better forecast these types of extremes or, or how would this work? So, so goes you can uh, look at the moisture in the air and 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 the the storms that are incoming that that, that may cause flash flooding uh, that are and that's used daily to to measure uh, the weather that uh, that could cause these extreme events. Mm -hmm. um, but also, it can look at the flooding itself on the ground uh, with the, the high resolution that it does. Uh, and so, so we're very, very much 24/7. It provides uh, uh, FEMA and other uh, local local authorities uh, information that they can use to help predict um, and mitigate against flooding. Uh, Dr. Salet, how can our viewers watch the launch and keep up to date on the mission? It'll be broadcast starting at 4:15 by NASA Live. Uh, NASA TV, and then uh, uh, the you can also go to the social media at, at NOAA Satellites and uh, NOAA.gov slash goes you uh, for more information about the mission. All right, you see it all right there. Good luck today. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for the so time much. this morning. Appreciate it. Thanks. Best of luck with the launch. Thank you. Go goes you. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like that. Yeah, it's kind of like a it's like a mascot. Goes you. Like yeah, exactly. you're thinking it's a university right. or something. Goes you. Very